So, Chuck Liddell was recently given the icon treatment and literally everything was buffed. His striking was buffed from like 89 to a 91. His grappling was buffed from like 86 to an 88. His stamina 89 to 90. Health 87 to 92. Overall, the man got a pretty good buff and we are going to test him out right now and see how much better he actually feels. Uh, first fight. We're facing Alexander Gustafsson. This should give us a pretty good idea. Touch it up. Let's go. Let's do this. Chuck Liddell definitely deserves this. Absolutely. After his fight versus Tito, I guess EA just decided the man deserves to get buffed. Yeah, he definitely feels better. I'm loving how much faster he feels. He actually feels more powerful too. Like these shots are rumbling the controller. Just he feels real solid right now. There we go. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Good punch. Just missed with the left there. And of course, with his with his game changer perk, we're gonna try to see if we can land an overhand shot in here somewhere. But we're not gonna be reckless with it. Mm. Nice shot. And he eats a right hand there. Just misses there with the left. Oh, what a head kick. Oh, very and Chuck, nice. don't forget, he also has Just counter puncher. I believe it's a level three. The Iceman gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. And what the counter puncher perk does for you is it increases the speed of your punches when you slip a shot. So you see me trying to use head movement, try to slip a shot. Encounter. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Big punches. Big oh, right hand. Is that a good right hand. Misses a huge hook to the head. Well, Caught that one. Catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. It. Trying to double up on that jab. The shot is blocked there by the Ice Man. Oh, he got tagged there. I'm trying to make sure that I'm not really, per se, going speed for speed against oh, Gustafson. Right I want more timing. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. See, when he when he throws those combos, I don't want to be exchanging with him right there because he's going to beat me to the punch. Catches it. A good round. Honestly, that's the one thing you don't want to do in this weight class. If you're facing Gustafson, you got to make sure that you're not going speed for speed versus Gustafson. That is, when you see him load up a combination, don't try to load up your own combination. He's going to beat you to the punch every time. He's, he's got the fastest hands in this weight class. You got to be very careful with that. So we're, we're being very, uh, we're keeping that in mind. Make sure that I do not get careless. And, another and start exchanging speed for speed with Gus because that's not going to work. What I'm trying to see is if I can load up a power shot somewhere. I don't know where. I'm trying to see if I can catch him in a slip, like slip a shot, rock him, or something. Catch him ducking, catch him leaning into something. I just, I need something big. Because once you start rocking people with, with Chuck Liddell, you get them out of there quick. So. Second round underway. Good job, buddy. Let's do it. Good first round in the books. Both fighters had their moment. Again, I'm glad I'm not a judge. Right? A difficult round to score. We will see, though, Joe, if there's an uptick in the aggression here in round two. So when you see him start letting those hands go, focus on your slip 
rather than throw him back, really. Nice. <laughs> he spun twice on that one. Damn, look at how quick these shots are. Ooh. Good job. Good job. Got him, though. Yeah, that's your mistake, buddy. That's your mistake. You should have you should have calmed down. He should have calmed down. Try to establish that jab. He's doing a great job blocking these shots. Man, but that was a good right hook right there he caught me with. He's got good accuracy on that jab. Right there. He's trying to hit it again. Ooh! Oh my god. Dropped. What just happened? That's it. Wow. What just happened? I believe that man lunged into a body kick. Oh my god. He threw a combo. I think it's the combo he has been throwing all day long. He threw the combo. His stamina was really low. He tried a lunge. And he lunged into a lead body kick. Which rocked him. It was a critical rock. And then from there it was just... Just went downhill. <laughs> Damn. And the subsequent in an instant, the fight is over. Love it. it Love it. Chuck Liddell feels incredible, people. He feels amazing. All right, let's get another fight. Be right back. Huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. For this light heavyweight fight. Facing John Bones Jones. Between these two fighters when it comes to the age... There we go. I suspect we're going to see quite a few John Jones and quite a few Gustafson users in the light heavyweight division right now as these guys prepare to go to war. Whew, I cannot wait for that fight. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh-oh, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. I'm going to be lunging on you, bro. Very important that you lunge, people. Yeah. You know? You're gonna run into players that are gonna wanna use a sidekick on you, and they should. They absolutely should. If you're using John Jones, you should be throwing the sidekick. If you got Israel, you should be throwing the sidekick. No, too far. You know, if you got Steven Thompson, you should be throwing the sidekick. But you as a defender, it is your job to let them know you will be lunging. You know? Knowing that you'll be lunging alone is going to slow down how many sidekicks a player is going to throw. Trust me on that. As he lands that one. But guarantee, if he's able to land every single sidekick and he doesn't think I'm lunging, he'll be throwing it a lot more. And as you see him right now trying to catch me as I lunge with other stuff. You know, he's now throwing roundhouse. Yeah. Man, that cut has really opened up. There's a left hand. We just forced him to open up his game a little bit. Oh, and now an elbow up top by Jones. Oh, nice kick. Jones gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Good combat. Dropped. This could be it. See, you, that, that's the one thing you don't do as Jones. See, I'll gladly exchange with John Jones. And when you're Jones, you're not Gustafson. Don't exchange. Don't exchange on the inside, buddy. He's in half guard here, landing some big shots. Vicious, vicious punch combinations here. Oh, no. I'm getting reversed right here. <laughs> it was not the smartest thing in the world staying on top, but 
He does not have a lot of time to work. I'm good. Mm. Elbow now to the head. That one landed by Johnny Bone. Nice combination of strikes from the full guard. All right. Know when you can go speed for speed, people. If you got John Jones, you cannot do that. You cannot do that with boxing. You see right there? Once you're facing a you know an opponent, Chuck Liddell, Rampage, whatever, you know, once you're in that boxing range and you see the opponent start letting those hands go with combination, don't think that you can let your own hands go and beat them to the punch. You're not. If you got Gus, you can. Not with Jones. Come on, baby. Yep. Big power shot there. Oh, Jones gets caught with that. Oh. Dropped. Oh, that was a bad one. Nice leg kick. Well, back that one floored him. That man is in a world of trouble. Oh, blocks the shot. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Stop doing that, buddy. Stop exchanging. This dude is going to get himself knocked out, man. Sidekick, maybe? All right. Front leg sidekick. Mm-hmm. There you go. That's that opportunist level four. I'm sorry. Counterpuncher level four. <laughs> And this man just got me with a spear because my stamina was low. Uh-oh. 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 We don't want that. No. No, 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 no. Man, I've been looking at Chuck's stats all day long. Like, I've... He's like the one guy that I've memorized. Because I'm, I'm, I'm quite glad they buffed him. I'm, I, I really am. Really, really glad they buffed him. He was really good in UFC 3. Undisputed 3. God damn. I'm, I'm not paying attention. Hold on a sec. Good defense there. Got me out here thinking about other games. Are you trying to throw knees and elbows, bro? Bad idea. Bad idea. It's over. All right. Chuck Liddell was a beast in UFC Undisputed 3. Those of you that played that game, you know. You know how nasty Chuck Liddell was, man. You could let those hooks fly. He had this beautiful, like, overhand hook-hook combination that... You were wing in UFC Undisputed 3, and it would just, it would beat out any other combination. Shit was nasty. It was nasty. And he, he's still pretty nasty here. Definitely powerful, fast, fast enough. I'm loving this. And of course, with his painted toenails. I don't know why this man painted his toenails, but that, that, that's, I guess that's what Chuck, that's what Chuck did. All right. Moving on. One more fight. Right back. Yeah, what is up with that? What is up with the whole painted toenail thing? Like, I've always wondered why guys do that, you know? I don't get it. I do not get it. Watch me get demonetized now. Martial mind is insensitive. Martial mind is insensitive. <laughs> Talking about dudes painting their toenails like there's something wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with you with you painting your tail your toenails. I just don't I just don't get it. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. This is uh another Jones. Are you gonna try to use a sidekick too? I I will be lunging. Okay, I'll be lunging, buddy. You're not gonna get those for free. Watch the shot here, Joe. 
You're going to need to set them up, He's big boy. No. Try to establish that jab. That one hurt. Boom, Man, boom. There we go. He hurt him with that hook. I'm in the zone. I'm in the zone. Let's see how this, how good this man is with Jones. Nice punch there by the I'm familiar man. with AJ Savage. Let's see how good he is with Jones. Back and forth we go. That shot blocked by Chuck Liddell. See now that man's throwing that beautiful jab lead hook to the body combo. That's a beautiful combo you're throwing, buddy. Slips the punch. You got tagged there. Straight right, he misses. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. <laughs> the body lands flush. He's gonna have to make some. Oh, that was dangerous. He lands a huge elbow to the head. Man, nice shots with these elbows, bro. A man's throwing real nice elbows in there. Good punch. Just over two minutes, round one. Oh, Jones gets hit with a kick. That See, now that's what's going to happen. Once once they know that you're lunging, that they're going to start throwing out. round shots at you. There you go. Round houses to the body, round houses so to the head. To Keep that in mind. So anytime you lunge, make sure you lunge with your block up. Oh, oh boy. Here we go. He's going to try to take me down. And I'm going to try to submit him. That didn't work. He's free from the guillotine. Elbow to the head there by Jones. Good ground and pound. Nice elbow. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Big body punch. Again with a flush left hand. Jones going to work here from guard and Make sure that I don't waste stamina trying to get up here. Just relax. Just relax, relax, relax. Good round, buddy. Good round. Job. He was trying to hit me with the sidekick right there. Guaranteed. Rocked. And dropped. Uh oh. That man leaned. I mean, ducked into it. <laughs> that man ducked into it. Oh, shoot. I was hoping he would not. I was hoping he wouldn't start grappling, but... Oh, shoot. All right. Keep that GA high. No. Keep that GA high. Let's go. Actually, man, the goal is... Yeah, see, this is not what I want right here. I don't want him denying me right here. Try it again. Okay. All right. We're going to do one more. Uh, let's go. Yeah, the goal here, honestly, is energy concert. Son of a bitch. And he goes to the knee to the body. Another knee landed by Johnny Bone. Liddell's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. Stuffs the oh, my God. That almost, that almost messed me up. Freaking worst time for phone to be ringing. Two minutes now to go in round two. Nice knee to the body by John. John's very good at inside fighting. <laughs> John's very good at inside fighting. We're under now in the clinch. 
and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Jones. Good knee by John. Mm -mm. Ah, he got it. This man is grappling me right now. Let's try to keep it calm. Keep it calm. Conserve energy. Good solid strike on the ground. And just not take a lot of damage on the bottom, you know? Good shot to the body. We got five rounds, people. Five rounds. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Johnny Bone. We're up. You know, that, that's what makes John Jones real dangerous, man. The fact that he's so good at inside fighting. No matter where you are, you're, you're in danger. You want to stay on the outside, you're in danger. You want to come on the inside, you're in danger. You want to grapple him, you're in danger. You don't want to grapple, you're in danger. Uh-oh. Good job. All right, so he is, he's changing his game plan. He's switching things up right now. He's starting to grapple. We got that drop right there, and immediately after that drop, you notice the man switched things up to grappling. That's what he needs to do. That is exactly what he needs to be doing, and uh, my job is to punch him in the face while he tries to do that. Avoid taking damage early. Switching stances here. He does a great job in southpaw as well. See this? He's switching to southpaw. Nice. Nice shot. There and Joe, we've seen in the later stages of this fight. Not only an uptick in the aggression, but also in the body work. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. So you gotta force him to use a sidekick like that. You gotta use it sparingly. You can't, you can't let them just throw that over and over and over again. Don't lunge into these body shots. Don't do it, bro. Oh, nice right hand. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. He does that really well. Punch Those kicks look blocked. looks like they it's going to the oh, yeah. oh he's rock he's rocked he's rocked he is rocked right here he's trying Ooh. to stay up oh overhand oh, he might be out lands a powerful kick oh very nice and now starting to snap off that jab. is this a pattern that I've noticed from you bro you throw the side kick every time you get rocked that might be a pattern Defensively blocks the shot. Maybe we could exploit that somehow. John Jones is punishing the body here. Oh, a nice inside leg kick landed there by the Hall of Famer, the Iceman Chuck Liddell. He blocks the punch. Liddell no teeps, though. No teeps. Under a minute to go. Tags him. Pretty good knee to the body by Jones. Oh wow. Look at this. Well, they made all the right reads here. You gonna try to start throwing knee elbows now, man? Leg strike as he catches it and then the punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. That's usually plan C. It's like plan A is he's rocked. That was bad. That's a bad one. This round is over. It's all done. Yeah, plan plan A usually with Jones is, you know, regular striking, use the sidekicks. That doesn't work. Try to go for a grappling. That doesn't really work out. Then they stand in front of you throwing knee elbows. That's most players, but this guy is doing a pretty good job with Jones. I'm enjoying this fight. Definitely enjoying this fight. To the championship medal of these two fighters figures to be tested ah, beginning right now. Fourth don't prove me right now, now, buddy. We have arrived at the championship rounds, and this is when the elite fighters, Joe, really separate themselves 
from the pack, from others in that top 15. Who wants it? Let's see. <laughs> His well, corner screaming, try that knee. He, he is throwing it. What are you talking about? Uh-oh. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. Damn, that was slow, dude. To get the clinch. Oh, nice that'll right make hand. an impact on the judges. Huge right hand. They separate from the clinch. Well, he's doing a nice job keeping the guard up. He goes to the head. Again. Oh, nice. Ha. Nice shot. Nice shot. That is a perfect time to go for that takedown. I was in a hit stun, and he, boom, hit it. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. He's not going to finish the fight here. Stay calm. Big punch from the bottom. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Lands with the ground. And he stopped it. Wow. He's working from full mount again. Very strong with the back mount. Oh, that hammer fist attempt defended well. It's blocked. He's in half guard here. The Iceman getting worked here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. Nice punch. Big punch from the bottom. The man's really trying to work my body right there. Nice punch there by Chuck Liddell. But he is the one that's really working. He's the one working on the ground here. He's got full guard here. Brutal strikes landed from the full guard. Let's just chill. Let's just oh, chill a little bit. On the ground here, Joe. 30 seconds to go in this one. He's tired. That man's tired. Nice shot. Sound defensively here as he stays up right double leg takedown. Whew, man. This has been a uh, this has been a grindy fight. Not really, I wouldn't say like a tough fight so far. Just kind of just really grindy. Just grindy. Most of the most of the things I want to do has been working so far. Let's just not get rocked or you know grounded too hard in this round. Man's tired. Let's see if we can stop him here. Watch the shot to the body. Doing a fantastic job of blocking shots. Jones gets caught with that punch. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very Spinning nice. back elbow into a knee. He lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Chuck Liddell. We show you the total strikes. See, this is where a lot of people make mistakes. You shot. see that he's gassed and you think you can just unload. Don't do that. Still pick your shots. Oh, how clean is that jab by the he can man. still hurt you. job protecting his head here that's a really strong leg kick there by Chuck Liddell just over three minutes now to go in the fight no 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 <laughs> had to pre-deny that one people are always asking if you can stop that takedown yeah you can the push into the takedown you can stop it just pre-deny it that was a nice knee I think he was trying to go for a side kick right there and it morphed into a knee. Blocks that kick to the body. Nice punch by Chuck Next time I push this dude, I'm going to the head. 
Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Check that one. Very nice leg kick there by Chuck Liddell. Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by... Game of hand. inches right here, right people. Game of inches. Liddell's lower jaw now starting to... Now we're both tired. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. And he lands an eight. He's doing a great job of blocking things here. Back to the left. Trying to see if I can hit him at least three times to that block with a straight. Less than a minute now to go in the fight. And then chuck an overhand at him. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Jones. See, he's doing a good job. He knows. He understands. Boom. He tries to... Dropped. Oh, yes. Yes. This is my fight. <laughs> Hands down. Unless I get finished in the next 10 seconds. Not much time left. Good job, dude. Oh. <laughs> Try to take me down at the end of the round there. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. All right. Final verdict on Chuck Liddell. Icon Chuck Liddell. I think Icon Chuck Liddell feels incredible. He is one of the better fighters in the light heavyweight division right now. He's a very good pick against Alexander Gustafson. Um, of course, if you run into a really good grappler using John Jones or using Daniel uh, Cormier, it's going to be a really difficult fight. But against everyone else in that in that division, I mean, of course, with Tito Ortiz as well. Just basically any grappler is gonna give you a really tough time if you've got Chuck Liddell. But if you if you've got hands, you've got good striking, you're patient. He is powerful enough for you to win most of your fights. Let's see who won. Five rounds. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest: 50-45, oh. 48-47, and 48-47. Declared the winner by unanimous decision. And there you go. We did it. We did it. Yeah, baby. All done. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This one was a long one. I'm almost losing my voice here. I appreciate all the support. It means a lot. And I will see you guys in the next video. As always, stay safe. And have a wonderful day. Champion with a big effort here tonight. Wasn't able to get the finish that he desired. Had to go the full 25 minutes. But the goal remains the same. To leave the way you came in. And that's exactly what he did. Congratulations to the still undisputed.